Hey all, welcome to uh, another episode of the Cruising with Cheryl and Eric show. I'm Cheryl, this is Eric. Yeah. Uh, so figured today we would talk about what it really costs to cruise, what all of the costs are. Um, so that if you're new to cruising, um, you're prepared for what you're going to uh, be presented with, whether it be from your favorite travel agent or, you know, going directly to the cruise uh, cruise line site. Uh, first and foremost is the, the fare itself. You know, this is uh, kind of the biggie. It's the you know, advertised price of the cruise that usually, um, you know, that includes the room you're staying in, basic dining options, most of the onboard entertainment. Consider this is like the, um, the price of the ticket to get you on board. That fare is usually broken down to a per person cost, um, you know, because it's per marketing. Person. Well, no, but marketing speak says, you know, $999 per person sounds better and it's easier to swallow than, you know, $1,999 per couple or per room. So if you're swallowing all that money, that's true. <laughs> um, it's going to vary depending upon the type of stateroom you book, whether you choose your own room or the cruise line chooses one for you, which is considered, you know, they call that a guaranteed stateroom. So a guaranteed balcony, guaranteed, you know, inside, whatever. So. You want to take one or you want me to talk for the whole video? And yeah. you just stand there and look pretty. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> port fees and taxes. Um, these are government fees and they're non-negotiable. They're added on top of your cruise fare. So don't, and you don't, for, don't forget to factor in them into your budget. Um, gratuities is another one. These are typically, these typically cover tips for your room steward, dining staff. Some cruise lines add this to your bill. Others may leave it. To your discretion um you can eat you know usually you can either prepay them um or pay them each day that you're on the cruise we like to prepay them because when we get on that ship we want to have paid for 90 plus percent of of all of all the costs so that you know we don't have to worry about money and just go and enjoy ourselves and if the service is above and beyond what we paid for already we will give additional money Correct. at the end of the trip yeah. yes Specialty dining, um, this is not included in the cost of, uh, this is not included in the fare. Um, so, you know, if you want to eat at the the steakhouse or the sushi restaurant or the, you know, the high-end Italian restaurant or hibachi, um, yeah, um, this is going to cost extra. Um, Leftovers you know, don't, though. Uh, on average, you're talking somewhere between 8 and like $50 per person for the specialty dining. Um <clears throat> It's up to you whether you want to, you know, splurge on that or if the main dining room and or buffet and or the casual dining restaurants on board are good enough for you. Or the multitude of other options is what we could have condensed that to. Well, now that you took extra long. Yeah, I did. Tell them about drinks, dear. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> um, if, you're, if you're a light drinker, like maybe one or two glasses of wine a day at home on a regular basis, like I said, regular. Um Personally, I don't feel like the drink package, but the drink package is not included in the fare. So what is drink wise, water, regular coffee, tea, and some fruit juices are included in that fare. Yes. Especially Everything else costs extra. Are not. Right. Special coffees are not. You can get a soda package for give or take 10 bucks a day. Um, the alcohol packages day. are roughly $50 to $100 per person per day, depending mm -hmm. upon you know the, the level of, of booze you want. You know, if well drinks are good enough for you, you're going to pay one price. If you've got to have, you know, top shelf, then you're going to pay another price. I think we got it. Um, there are, in addition to the drink packages, so like specialty drinks, you know, um, pretty much every cruise ship I've been on in the Caribbean has, you can buy a pina colada and it's served in a pineapple um, that they just, you know, cut open that day. That's extra above and beyond your alcoholic drink package. Um, they've got buckets of beer, five, you know, five Coronas for like 30 bucks. I think it is again, above and beyond the cost yes. of your drink packages. Those, uh, the specialty drinks are not included. Um, shore excursions are not included. Um, some cruise lines, whew, some cruise lines include the basic excursion in the fare. Other excursions are at a cost and they can range from 40 to $200 per person, depending on the activity. Right. Um, choose wisely. Uh, Wi-Fi on board. 
Whew. To instill your cruise moment, you'd need internet, and that's usually an extra charge, roughly between $13 and $18 per device per day. Right. So choose it wisely. A lot of times, you know, if you just want to unwind and just chill and uh, detach. Space out. Yeah. I'm, I'm detach <laughs> yourself. Um, <laughs> opt out. Is that what you're trying to say? Opt out yeah. of the Wi-Fi? No, 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 not opt out. Like if you're just trying to disconnect from the world. That would be opting out and not getting the Wi-Fi. So I was right. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I've got an insatiable <laughs> appetite to be right, people, and I'm so sorry. Um, <laughs> just disconnecting is not a bad thing. But if you want, if you're in a group, the Wi-Fi package may be needed. Okay. Spa and wellness services. You know, those massages, beauty treatments, yoga classes, they are fabulous, um, but they will lighten your wallet. Um, they're not included. Most of them are not included. Some of the yoga classes, like the beginner things, that, that might be. But if you want that couple's massage, in, you know, with the, the window staring out into the ocean, okay. be prepared. No, thanks. Anyway, <sighs> I'm not a fan of massages on land or on sea, so there was that. Um, okay. Travel insurance. We have said this multiple times. A multitude? A multitude. Multitudinous? Multiple. Yes. We've said it a lot. Yeah. Um, get it. It's to secure your voyage against unforeseen hiccups. Mm. We'll have to get the hiccups. Just try, never mind. Um, it's roughly about 5 to 10% of the cost of the cruise. Mm. It's highly recommended. Yeah. Um, go ahead. Uh, your flights and your pre and post cruise accommodations, uh, depending upon where you're cruising out of, like what what port you'll need to budget to get there. Because you know, unless it's drivable, or uh, if even if it's drivable, but you don't want to drive, you know, you're looking at you know, a couple hundred to a couple thousand dollars, depending. You know, if you're you know you live in New Jersey like us and you're you know uh, cruising out of Miami, you're looking at a couple hundred dollars round trip. If you're cruising out of Rome, you know, probably add a zero to that. Um, also, and as we've recommended many, many times before, always fly in the day before. Yes. Book yourself a hotel. Yes, it's going to cost you an extra 100 to $200. Well, much down. better than missing out on your cruise because your flight was delayed or canceled. Absolutely. And we're not going to beat that one any further. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> um, onboard shopping for the shopaholics. Unlike me, um, remember to budget for souvenirs and duty-free shopping, cruise logo stuff, booze, cigarettes, tattoos, charm bracelets, um, and charms. They all cost extra, you know. Yeah, but yes. Yeah, so every cruise ship has a different thing, but yes, just be prepared. Gambling. What? Yes, you have to bring your own money to gamble with. Well, period. End of story. Yeah. Well, that, <laughs> ooh, that one went. That went by fast. Um, ship photographers throughout the cruise, you'll be asked if you want to pose for a photo, if you want to purchase them. Um, you'll have to pay for them. The average cost is ten to twenty dollars per photo. Packages are available. You do not have to correct partake in the photos. Well, and even if you want to partake in the photos, when you go down to the photo studio and you see the photos. You don't have to purchase them. Just don't They'll just delete them. them. Yeah, well, yeah, that's a whole other story. Yeah. Um, <sighs> cooking and or mixology classes. You can learn to make sushi for or a martini. They Not at the same not, time. A sushi martini. That would be interesting. Yeah, it would be interesting. Mm -hmm. um, they are usually not free. Cooking classes can run $50 or more. Mixology classes are usually around $20. Mm -hmm. Ship tour. Uh, if you want to see how that ship operates from the bridge to the galley to the cruise spaces and a lot of places in between, might want to take this ship's tour. Um, they can be pricey. Uh, we just looked at one for our upcoming cruise in February, and on sale it was $158 per person. So depends on how interested you are. Unless but, you steal a, an employee's uniform. Anywho, yeah. moving on. I don't recommend that either. Um, laundry service, <clears throat> unless you pack heavily, like some people, um, or plan to do sink laundry, you might need their laundry service. Some cruise ships have laundromat. You can do your own laundry for a couple of dollars for the washer and a couple more for the dryer, which is usually what happens when you go to a laundromat. Um, some cruise lines do it for you and they charge 20 to $40 for a small bag. 
It, so it's like a bag. Pack, uh, pack extra. Just saying. Art auctions. Yes, you can actually bid on and win auctions for art pieces while you're on board. The cost mm -hmm. could be astronomical or it could be very economical depending upon if you know your art and the value you know the values of various pieces yes or um, you can just walk around the art and see how beautiful it is and walk away or just don't let them harass you when you're in the little arcade and arcade <laughs> get it i'm no. kidding um kids clubs most cruise lines do not charge extra for the day of the kids clubs if you leave your children there in the evening, there can be a charge of $10 or more per hour per child. Yeah. Um, yeah. Don't leave them there overnight. They don't like that. Um, uh, they know what room you're in, so they'll yeah, just return. That's anyway. true. Uh, onboard shopping. Again, uh, we've already talked about this one, but it's it's a big one. I, um, I wanted to hit it again. This arguably is our largest single category of expense when we get off of a cruise. Because, uh, you know, we usually buy some duty-free alcohol. We definitely buy the duty-free cigarettes. Uh, somebody likes her charm bracelets and charms. Um, and we usually end up with at least one um, cruise logo t-shirt. Um, one each. Well, yeah, well, that's what I meant, one each. So yeah. um, Magnet for our little oh, yes. souvenir yeah. box, yeah. memory box. But anyway. So yeah, you know, be prepared. You yeah. you know, you're, you're gonna you're probably gonna spend you know a hundred, couple hundred dollars on on souvenirs unless you have much more self control than my wife does. I have a lot of self control when it comes to no really? prices, people. Is all I'm saying. Um, <laughs> Next up, medical services. If you need to see the onboard doctor, it will probably run a hundred plus dollars just to walk in the door. They are considered a concierge service, so everything is expensive. But if you need it, go. Yeah. Um, even if you have health insurance back home in the States, it is not covered. Right. Um, unless you get documentation, whatever, you could probably, you might be able to get reimbursed. I'm not going into the medical field. Therefore, I'm not going to continue on that statement. Special events. Moving on. Too late. You already said the next. We're going to move on from special events. No, even though we haven't talked about them. No, we're moving on to special okay. events. Some cruise lines have a special events like murder mystery dinner or a special wine tasting, and they will charge you for it. Basically. Plain and simply put. Yeah. Moving on. So, as best as we can tell, that uh, as best as we can remember, from, it might be a better way to say it. That pretty much covers the gamut of what you could spend money on on a cruise. Um, you know, obviously, we didn't give you exact dollar amounts because it all depends where you're going, when you're going, who you're sailing on, which ship, what type of room, you know, all of that. Prices so, change, right? Um, but that gives you a pretty good list now. Watch for sales. That yes, and promos and discounts. Yeah. Next up, check out this video that we did recently about thirty-five different free things that you can enjoy while on that cruise. So yeah. it's not all about just taking your money. There are free things you can do as all as well. Yes. See ya. Bye.